What do you want, Englishman? Edward Canway. I'm here to warn you of danger. And I'm Welsh. You all look the same to me. Why should I need your warning? My life is all danger. I may have brought it on you. <laughs> this means you owe me. As it happens, I could use a man to help free some of my friends. Slaves, you mean? Brothers. Warriors. The hope of the Maroon. Doesn't sound like my business, mate. All I need is for you to mingle with your countrymen. Listen to hints for where my friends are held. Fine. I'll see what I can do. And then, he dismissed me without pay. The drunkenness. A legend drunkenness. All I have to do was a small amount of time. Another round. Think this through. Are you buying? I just lost me job. What hell did the Kearney buy? Whatever for. I don't know. To make an example of, or some such. Well, what did he do? Does he need to do anything? Sometimes examples just have to be made. Hey, now isn't that just the truth? They wouldn't linger here. Walls have ears if you know what I mean. Are we followed? We must warn the others. You got the information I need, mate. No! I've heard of your kind, assassin. Don't hurt me! All I want to know is where this slave is. Do you know of anyone being held? Especially. Please! Let me live. My wife and children. Come on, then. Out with it. Look near the windmill. See? Was that so hard? I found your men. And I found where his brothers are kept. Help me release them. No, mate. I've settled my debt. Meddling with slaves is none of my affair. I doubt there's even a Templar behind it all. All affairs of freedom are assassin's affairs. What is your price? What? A man without principle must be moved by coin. How much do you need? There is a key I'm looking for. Belongs to a set I've been stripping off Templars. The Templar keys? I thought they'd been destroyed. I'm not the only one who knows about them, then. If we find it, it's yours. You have a deal. Let's go get your friends. You must exercise caution. The area will be well guarded. You know how this works. Take your position. Thanks. Meet me at the Bureau. Where to next? <laughs> that's enough work for one night. Or do you grow fond of it? But that's it. No Templar. What about the key? The Templar did not show himself. You will have your key next time. No, Anto, there is no next time. When you discover your conscience, or admit how badly you want the key, there will be a next time. You returned. Have you brought your conscience? I want my key. Patience is a virtue. Expecting company. You may have your key sooner than you think. Help us defend the Bureau. The men we freed will help. I've got a clear shot! Edward, I am glad you showed up when you did. I'm sorry I have no key to give you, but... No, the key can wait. 
Whoever did this, I want to teach them a lesson. The Templar's name is Kenneth Abraham. He's part of an ongoing war with the Maroons. But we have held strong and will not be defeated. Let me devise a plan. I have a plan, but it won't be easy. Abraham is well connected and his pockets are deep. But we have located a man in his inner circle. We will tail him until he reveals our target. Let me bring him to his end. Here he comes now. Evening. Sir, that's a night for a war. That's a night to celebrate impending victory. Our numbers are many. <laughs> they will not stand a chance. Pity to not be invited to see us celebrate before our victory. Right. Officers. May I join you? Evening. The more the merrier. I've just come from the barracks. I'm quite certain the new weapons shipments will end our maroon problem once and for all. That is the plan. That is the plan. Do you think they'll be expecting it? Most likely. They always do somehow. This time, it won't matter. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a private matter to attend before I make my entrance. As do I. We will see you there. Good evening. Will the commander be in attendance tonight? Yes. I was just speaking with him. He's here somewhere. A Pratt was right under our noses the whole time. He's a slippery one. He won't behave like an ordinary soldier. Stop there, you! In truth! And, uh, How many years have we fought? Your men in the mountains with no weapons to speak of? And my army resplendent. And yet you live. And I die. You lack the conviction to win. <sighs> Travers? What tide brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a network Templar called uh, Upton. Could you eliminate him for me? Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. He wanted the goods transported to his residence instead. But why? What's he gonna do with them? I don't know. Store them? Smuggle them? Possibly need Smuggle them away from his own smuggling operation. <laughs> I know. It sounds ridiculous. But a job's a job. I suppose you're right. My husband's not seen the sun in weeks. Smuggling from a smuggler. <laughs> Will the others be waiting for us when we get there? Yes. This should be easy. So we move the goods, then we go to the inn. Oh, we should be so lucky. I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to use it? Me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? Please. I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, bother. My 
my lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman, Jing Lang, a pirate from the farthest seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Good day, my brother. Good day, brother. If I may still call you that. Why? What else would you call me? Stranger, perhaps? I barely know you anymore. And if the whispers around town are to believe, you would have me gone and done away with. Come, You know better than to give it to gossip. Ness always too small. Local tongues turn everything to sentimental comedy. It's domestic tragedy I'm trying to avoid. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family, except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. That is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance. Quite. Quite. Now, sir. You brought it. It? My half of the map, you mean? The map. We've got to get away from here. Of course, the map. The map to the treasure. To our legacy. That very one. I have mine. Where is yours? Vance, you know I feel we must protect that treasure with utmost caution. On the contrary, that map is our protection. Its treasure, our freedom. All the more reason to keep it buried, safely. But have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? I really don't think that... The Travers Estate and Plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Why not begin now? Advance. Are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What do you mean? I am not implying. I am merely asking. Do you really imagine Jing as the lady of the house? Hmm? Mistress of servants, broodmother? Or should I not imagine it? Do you question her love, her fitness? Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea. Challenge. How will she adapt to a quiet domestic life? Jing is none of your concern. Fans, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh? And what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. You're jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety, brother. You always have to be the favorite child, the golden boy. You can't stand it that you would give her art to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. So you hate her. I have no hate, only concern. I'll tell you this, I will marry her. I will kill you if I must. I will have your half of the map. And then the world will see which brother has more honor. I'll bid you good day. <laughs> My love. You have the map. Not yet. Not yet. What am I to tell my order? You know we can't leave until I have it. I'm taking care of it. Give me time. More time? Your loyalty makes you soft. I think you're not man enough to see it through. My flower, it is all but done. I've hired a man. In moments, Upton's life will be over and the map will be ours. You hired a man. In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. He did not have so many witnesses as we do in there, so trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now. Edward? I believe I just saved your life, mate. Vance. He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. 
But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. Good God, man. What's happened to you? I cannot go on anymore. My brother? A traitor? That woman? Templar? I have no family. No wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me. You don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You... You are my best friend. Come here, I'll kill you! What are you looking at? Upton, mate, no! Guards! There are guards nearby. Piss off! They won't stand for this. I said piss off! Oh, I need a piss. Oh, 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 that's much better. Stop that! What? Why won't no one let me so much as take a piss? Put it away! I'm like a child. Oi, this is sacred ground. I'll teach you to urinate. I don't want to be like a child, Edward. It's all right, mate. Help me not be like a child. You just need the drink to wear off. Are you safe here? Safety is an illusion. But yes, I have friends here I can hide. Good. What you must think of me. Have I said anything embarrassing? No, mate. You sound quite the scholar. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? Imagine. A Templar. My brother to marry a Templar. I doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. But please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. You're a forever friend, can I? Hmm. You're looking better than last we met. As I sobered up, I began to see it more clearly. Jing has led my brother astray and must be killed. Vance has also betrayed me. As an assassin, his treachery must be punished by death. So either way, one of them has the Templar key. You're obviously distraught. Let me take care of it. I will tell you where to find them. Takes one to know one. <sighs> Jin Lang, as I live and breathe. I told him not to hire you. You traitor! I will not meet the same fate! Got him in my sight! Imagine the Queen of Pirates, Jing Lang, defeated for a fake map. I have been arrogant. Really? Yes, I stole the real one, both halves. My husband has it. Your husband? Better men than these fools. 